All right, what is going on financial movers? I hope you're ready to start the trading week tomorrow. Tonight I'm gonna to be talking about eBay, ticker symbol E-B-A-Y. They closed this past Friday at $61.98, down 1.31%. And they've actually had been on a pretty good run. So on the past year, they're up 67.33%. And year to date, up 24.98%. Now a lot of people have been excited about eBay and those gains they've had and wondering if they'll continue after they just reported earnings on February 3rd, so earlier this month. They reported an EPS beat by three cents beat on revenues, so total non-GAAP EPS coming in of 86 cents, and then total revenues coming at $2.87 billion, up 28.1% year over year, beating estimates by $160 million, and gross merchandise volume of $26.6 billion, and analysts thought that was going to come in at 25.1, and here's where it really starts to get interesting. Active buyers grew by 7% for a total of 185 million active buyers. So will those buyers stay on eBay? That's a question a lot of investors are wondering, but the company went on to give even better guidance than really was expected. The quarter one guidance was a low ball of 294 in revenue or high ball of 299. The low ball would resonate with 38% year over year growth and the high ball 48% year over year growth. Now, if they are able to actually do that, we will see in quarter one 2020 but they also announced a dividend repurchase authorization by an additional four billion dollars and they increased their dividend per share by 13 percent and that's exciting because ebay does pay a dividend yield of 1.15 percent which is pretty good for technology company and they have a low pe of 15.32 so over on the technical charts eBay is trading in key areas right now. If they'll either break out or break down, we will see. I'll get to that at the end of the video. And before I get to that, I am going to get to the fundamentals and ask you to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification button for me so you never miss out on another analysis. And let's just jump over to those eBay fundamentals. So the company released their condensed consolidated statement of income and they got their three months ended and their year ended. So let's just look at eBay on that year ended and compare 20. 20 to 2019. So they got their total net revenues coming in at $10.2 billion, up from $8.6 billion in 2019. Uh, cost of revenues also increased, but slightly increased to $2.4 billion from $2.1 billion. So they're able to increase total net revenues by $1.6 billion while only increasing cost of revenues by less than $500 million. So that is awesome. Gross profits coming in to $7.7 billion dollars up from 6.5 billion dollars that is a pretty high margin business from net revenues to gross profits so bringing in 10.2 on net revenues keeping 7.7 on gross profit that is a really good gross margin business now they do have operating expenses uh those operating expenses came in total at five billion dollars up from 4.6 billion dollars but still pretty solid only increasing those by about 400 million dollars with total net revenues coming in over 1.6 billion dollars so total net income down at ebay coming at 5.6 billion dollars and check this out that is an increase from 1.7 billion dollars in 2019 even on that quarter it increased up to 845 million dollars from 556 million dollars from 2019. Now it brings that total net income per share on that basic EPS to $7.98 up from 210. Now this is a great quarter, a great year. Uh, a lot of people speculating that it's only because of 2020, but they have been growing their uh, users on eBay. So the question is, will those users stick around? So on that balance sheet at eBay, they have their December 31st, 2020 up at the top and then December 31st, 2019, they got their assets coming in with total current assets at $7.1 billion, up from $4.7 billion. So that's actually looking really good. And then they got their total current liabilities at 4 billion, actually down from 4.06 billion. So decreasing total current liabilities, increasing total current assets dramatically. And what has me really excited down at eBay is on their statement of cash flows, how much money that they are putting back into buying their own stock. So 
repurchase of their own common stock up to $5.1 billion from $4.9 billion in 2019. And don't forget, I did say that the company's already authorized another share buyback of $4 billion worth of shares. So it's honestly looking really good over at eBay. I even listened to an interview with the CEO just talking about how they're authenticating all sneakers over $100, authenticating all watches over $2,000. And that's bringing a lot of trust to their platform, not only for buyers, but with sellers as well. So currently the stock is trading at $61.98 where it closed at on that past Friday. And I am gonna put up a 20 day moving average, a 50 day moving average, a 100 day and a 200 day moving average as well. So. And the stock got up to all-time highs back in July 2020, getting up to $61. Now it's back over that, and it, try, it looks like it's trying to hold support up over that $61. So there's a few key levels where I'd like to get eBay at. I don't want to buy it right here at $61.98. I either want to let the stock drop down to where it is, was having difficulty getting up above 60 whenever made all time highs. And then back in August, and then again over in January, just last month, uh, it ended up gapping up over that. So if it could drop from here down to about $60, $59, it'd be a drop of nearly 4%. And it'd correlate nicely with that 20 day moving average. I do believe with the numbers they're putting up that this prior resistance will become next support. And then after that, I would like to see it drop down to that 57 mark, which would correlate nicely with a 50 50 day moving average and if it could really drop down all the way making a 12% move I'd like to see it just below $55, about $54, where it was using support back in July of last year, and then also finding resistance in December of last year before marching on upwards of that. But I do expect that to be a further market sell. Now, lastly, I would still be into buying an eBay breakout. So if the stock can get up past where it made an all-time high after reporting good earnings, so it made an all-time high at $64.85, if the stock can break out above that $64.85 mark, okay, it has strong resistance at 64. I want it to break out above 64.85 and I'll put a buy order in at 64.95, okay? And then I'll put a stop loss in for the day that it breaks out. So let's say tomorrow the stock opens up at 63.30 and then just moves up to that 64.85. 80, 64.95 mark that I want it at, then I will put a stop loss at the low of tomorrow, if it breaks out tomorrow, but any day it breaks out, okay? So that is how I'm gonna be trading eBay. I'm excited for the future of the stock. They posted a great quarter and they're expecting great things to come. So if you got anything out of this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button for me so you don't miss out on another analysis. And good luck out there this week, financial movers. It should be a good one.